An evening head shave with the Henson razor coming up next. Hi YouTubers and web series everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, this is your first time here, welcome. Make yourself at home, feel free to look around, check out the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. Well, it's time for another evening head shave. I'm going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Shaving. This is great. Love it. Mentholated activated charcoal and formula ck6 in here love it love the menthol kick from this and you can see i've been using it quite a bit because it's getting smaller i'm also going to use from phoenix shaving high jump 47 shave soap boy this is terrific uh love 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 the scent uh one of the viewers out there rich described it accurately as being Kerry grant gentlemanly night on the town i agree really nice Kind of subtle, but boy, it is just present. Like it a lot. Going to finish it off with the uh, Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving. This has the no-slip grip, and it's also uh, the dry dock system. So that's really nice. Um, after that, a little bit of Humphrey's Witch Hazel for upstairs. Yeah, going to try this. 100% Witch Hazel with a little bit of alcohol from the process. But yeah, this is real Witch Hazel right here. Not too keen on the scent, but that's okay. That's why I've got High Jump 47 Aftershave and Cologne. I'm going to put a little bit up there as well. And uh, this will be a really nice finish to it. And of course, if I need a little bit of, um, a little more moisture up there, so to speak, I'll uh, pull out the Lubriderm. This is fragrance free, so I can kind of make a, a scented balm with the High Jump 47 Aftershave and Cologne. I should really get the Star Jelly next time I get the High Jump 47, but okay, that doesn't matter. That's what I have, that's what I'm going to use. All right, my razor is going to be the Henson razor. This is the mild version of the razor. I did a recent review on it, and this is really, uh, really an amazing razor. Very, very precisely made. It's uh, manufactured in Canada by Henson Shaving. I guess you could call this a T-shaped DE razor. Yeah, and it's really a nice, nice shave. Uh, 1.3 ounces, type 2 anodized, comes in a variety of colors. Like it a lot. Now, I also have uh, a razor of theirs that is a little more aggressive. This is their medium aggression which is more aggressive than this one. This is the mild. Uh, since I have about two to three days growth up here, the medium probably would be better for a head shave right now. But you know, I'm going to use the mild and see how the mild does. I have an Astro Blade already installed on this, and they recommend Astro Blades for it. Uh, and we're going to have a head shave and see, and see how it does. I'm really looking forward to this head shave. Because, again, I let my hair grow out about two to three days, and uh, you know what? It's really starting to bug me. I really, I really want to get rid of this fringe. And since I've been doing the, the uh, evening head shaves, shaving my head every day, every other day, I let it go for about two, three days, and I just can't figure out how I ever lived with having this fringe here. I'm so looking forward to shaving it off. So uh, let's go ahead and take this hot water from the puck. And let's dump that in there and uh, let's uh, wet the head and get to the shave. Okay, I'm going to just run this over like this and then really work up a nice pre shave soap. Nice pre shave soapiness. Like to really work it into that longer hair around the fringe there. Now the, the Henson razor is a very precision. It's very it's it's high precision. It has very very tight tolerances. Very well made. And uh, the razor, the razor head, and the blade will do all the work. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to be using the Atomic Rocket shaving brush. It was soaking, forgot to mention that. But it's a 26 millimeter knot. 
And it's gonna give me good coverage for upstairs. This is also by Phoenix Shading. So here we go. I'm just gonna load the brush up here. Oh, love that scent. That's absolutely beautiful. And uh, here we go. Just get a little more there. Okay, that's got it. I got a really, really good brush load. This is gonna make a nice lather. Twenty-six millimeter knot gives it a lot of nice coverage, and I like the handle. I can really get a nice grasp of it, and really move that brush around. I'm going to use a little bit of water on the tips here. Just add a little water to the tips. Okay. Now, if you're making a lather this way, just remember you can also pump like this a little bit, gets a little air in those bristles and it really helps to generate a little more lather. And I'm looking for nice protection. This is, has great glide, this shave soap. And again, this scent is really terrific. And yeah, if I was going out, you know, in the evening and I was Going to do a touch-up shave and also do a head shave. High Jump 47 would definitely be a, a great shave soap to use. Because that scent is just fantastic. Okay. That's got it. And a plenty on the brush as well. All right. So here we go. Going to heat this up. It's very lightweight. Very nimble. Very maneuverable. Just running there with some hot, hot water. I'm going to swirl it in the sink here to bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. And the thing is, is that this razor has a, an angle built right into it. Right there, you can see that angle there. So you're always spot on that 30 degree angle. You can really feel your way around very easily. It also allows you to get into some of the tighter areas too. For instance, it's very good for getting up underneath the nostrils to get those little bits, but I'm imagining that it's going to be good getting close and around the ears. But yeah, it's just really, really nice. have to adjust, you know, the angle of the razor as you're shaving your head. And with this razor, you'll tell, you can tell if you're off, if you're off that angle. So you have to adjust a little bit. But that is of great advantage, I think, because you know, you'll know whether or not you're shaving. Again, I want to see if I can get tight in there. Looks like I can. Got a good thick lather, and I'm thinking maybe the medium with this little larger blade gap would do a better job. However, it is more aggressive, so I just want to see 
how this does. Now, going from front to back is a little more, it's a little more difficult to find that, that angle here on top. I'm thinking going from back to front, it's going to be easier just by virtue of the way I'm handling the razor. So we'll see. <clears throat> so let's rinse and uh, get to the second pass. Not so much rinsing as I'm applying a little more water. And you know what? That was a nice first pass. It's on par with a lot of other razors. And I'm thinking this second pass is going to be my money pass. I'm going to be able to uh, complete the head shave. Nice, boy. Just a great thick carpet of lather. Great scent. Boy, that's terrific. And I got plenty of lather in the brush. Usually... I'll squeeze some off and I'll hold it on my hand to do a touch-up. I'm probably going to do that here also. Okay, so again, plenty on the brush. My gosh. It's fantastic. I love these Phoenix shaving soaps. Love them. Love them. They're non-tallow soaps. And uh, just, just great, great quality ingredients. Okay, so here's pass number two. We're going to go back to front. I'm going to get my neck first. Now, you can see how much lather is there, but the blade is fairly clean. Fairly clean. I know this is a thick lather, too. It has these great shambles in there that allow the, the hair and the, uh, the lather to escape, kind of evacuate. So you don't have to rinse as often, but Yeah, a little easier to find this angle going back to front, at least for me. And what's nice is it seems to be mild enough to where when I'm on top of my head here, where it gets the skin gets thinner, there's always the potential to nick myself. If I'm using razors that are a little more aggressive, this one, I don't feel that. Feel like I can just go ahead and shave. Not have to worry about nicking myself at all. The other thing that's nice about this razor is it has a knurling machined right into the handle. And it's very, very secure in the hand. Very secure. Okay, so that's the second pass done. Let's go ahead and rinse and see where we're at. Boy, that's a nice shave. I don't have to do much touch-up. But I will do a little touch-up. My gosh, that is fantastic. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this off here and just put it in my hand like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply in some of the areas that need to be touched up. Boy, is that nice. Boy, that is just...
That's terrific. That really is. That really is terrific. I'm able to hit that angle going from back to front a little easier than going front to back. And you know what? This is this has been an absolutely terrific head shape, and I seem to have been able to get behind the ears very, very easily. It just seems to get into those tight spaces much more easily than even a cartridge razor. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm gonna rinse my head and then we'll finish up this shave. And that was my warm water rinse. Took quite a bit to get a lot of that lather off, and you can see I'm a, I'm a little unkempt here from that, but I'm gonna go with my cold water rinse. Close my pores. Okay, here we go, cold water rinse. Okay, that got it. <laughs> that was nice. Well, that's a nice head shave. Nice and smooth. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Wow. Well, no irritation from the shave itself, but let's see how let's see what the let's see what the Allen block has to say about that. We're gonna run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. See if there's any zinging or stinging from this. Here we go. Nothing. Nice and smooth. Wow, that's terrific. Boy, that's great. That's marvelous. That really is. No stinging, no zinging. Fantastic. Here is the dry dock system. A lot of nice ventilation. Just put that in there like that. And let the air do the rest. Okay. Well, we're going to let this set up. In the meantime, I'm going to clear my, clear my, I'm going to clean my, uh, my brush here and I'll be back to finish the shave. Boy, I love these synthetics. Look, they just clean up so well, so quickly, so easily. Man, they're just, they're just fantastic. Wow. I'm just going to set that over there for the time being. All right. Little Humphreys for upstairs. Okay, we're going to squeeze a little bit of this off in here like this and slap that on. I think that's all I'm going to need. Nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Again, the scent isn't the greatest. That's why I'm going to follow up with uh, the aftershave and cologne. Looking forward to this. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, yeah, I got a goodly amount here too. So I'm going to get a nice brace. Yes! That's fantastic. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. And that's a nice brace kicking in. That's terrific. Not overly so. Not overly so scent-wise and not overly so brace-wise. Just the right amount for this kind of shave. Perfect. Great shave. Great head shave. Really, really enjoyed it. And I got to tell you, <laughs> this razor, this Henson razor, this thing's a keeper. This really, really is. I am so surprised by how well this can give me a face shave and a head shave. Now, again, they make this one in a medium aggression which is more aggressive than this and really you can't rate these against uh, ordinary safety razors because of their the way they're designed and the way the blade gaps and the, the safety guards and that sort of thing are configured on these. You got to experience it for yourself. Now if you're a cartridge razor user and you've considered coming over to a double edge razor, boy this is a great transitional razor to make that that step over to double edge shaving. 
Really, it's lightweight like a cartridge razor. It has a similar feel in that this face right here, that face has that same kind of flat pad feel of a cartridge razor. Don't press down on this though. Let the, let the razor head and the weight of the razor and the blade do all the work. That's the only difference between this and a cartridge razor. But it has that similar feel, so it'll be familiar to you. And uh, it'll allow you to make the jump over to a double edge uh, shaving, uh, doing the traditional wet shave. So yeah, it is really nice. It did a great, great job giving me a head shave, giving me a nice close Nice close head shave. Now again, I you know I bought them both thinking that maybe this would be too mild. Uh, it's not. This is this has been perfect for me. Uh, great for head shaves. Knocked down two to three days worth of growth, uh, and it has been giving me some really really nice face shaves as well. Um, it is lightweight, 1.3 ounces. So if you're looking for a heavier razor, this is not it. Uh, however, uh, it's not too much of an adjustment to use this. Um, and it's a, it's a nice change of pace from some of the heavier razors that I have. So it's a welcome change. And it does do a nice job in giving me face shaves and now head shaves. So I like it a lot. So check it out, the Henson Razor. They have the medium aggression, which is more aggressive than the mild one. So not sure which one is right for you. Check out... Uh, their website and their page where they break down uh, which of these razors would work best for you, the kind of uh, beard and skin type you have, kind of shaving you do, etc. It's all right there on their website and uh, that'll give you a little more information. But for me, the mild seems to be the, uh, the right fit for me. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Great pre-shave soaps, great shaving soaps, great aftershaves and colognes, great shaving brushes, razors. They have it all. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Henson Razors, check them out. This really is a neat safety razor. Unlike any other safety razor I've used, very enjoyable shade. And for me, the mild model seems to be a really good fit. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.